Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Unice Hair, and I'm going to be showcasing a closure wig. Yes, tis the season for closure wigs. Now, this is a short water wave bob style. This one is in the length 14 inches. You get two combs on the side, a comb in the back, your adjustable strap, and a removable elastic band. Did wash my unit using my RC Moist shampoo, and I like how the waves are still intact. They didn't get loose at all, so it looks super pretty. Now I'm just gonna put my unit on, and I was considering doing a glueless look, but I could not find my silicone band, so we still gonna make it do what it do. And the ear tabs matched up fine. I had no issues, but I'm gonna take my wax and go around the hairline area and just kind of press that back a little bit so it could be nice and sleek. Taking my olive oil fix it hole spray, I'm just going to spray that on top of the lace. And then I'm just going to use my red tail comb, just kind of press everything down so I don't have to worry about any lace rolling up. And I'm gonna use my blow dryer to speed up the process. Now, once it's dry down, I was like, oh my gosh, this is transparent HD lace. I should have added a little bit of tint spray, but I'm going to fix it towards the end. be rocking a middle part today but i feel like the parting space looks good even though this is only a four by four it's pretty nice and open but i'm taking my wax and i'm going at the top and then i'm using my hot comb just to kind of press everything out because i do want this to be flat at the top i do not want it to be humpy at all and then i am going to use my elastic band and i'm going to tie that around the hairline while i work on styling this hair now as i begin to comb out the hair you can see how nice and fluffy it is but i'm going to take my water bottle and i'm going to spray the hair down really good i will say after combing it out it just seemed to be really really dry so i am going to drench this with water also going for a soft wave look so i'm going to be using my tresemme flawless curls and i'm going to run that throughout the hair and then i'm just going to kind of scrunch it up with my fingers now i'm not gonna lie for a little bit i was like this is looking thin i hope it you know looks thick again so i'm making sure to fluff it up really good and then i'm gonna run my defining brush through it just to kind of help clump everything together what it is looking like before I diffuse the hair and it didn't take me long to diffuse this hair I just needed to go in and kind of fluff it up closer towards the top area because I know that when it dries down I'm going to try to fluff it up as big as possible without it getting too frizzy Went off camera and diffused the rest, but this is what it is looking like. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Sleek and Shine Serum and I am going to run it throughout the hair. Now I'm being careful to not fluff it up too much just because I do like that defined look. And I also noticed that some of the hair was frizzy, so I don't want to frizz it up too much even more, but I'm making sure to really go up towards the top area to get that fullness that I'm wanting. And then making sure to just kind of scrunch up towards the ends and not run my fingers through it. going to take my elastic band off to see what this hairline is looking like and y'all once I pulled it off I was like it's still just a little bit too light but I'm going to go in with some powder into the parting space area and I know with my head being down you 
probably are thinking, what are you talking about? It looks good. But when I put my head up and I seen that white cast, I said, uh-uh. Mm -mm. so i'm just going to use a little bit of my tint spray and i tried to just spray it on my fingers it wasn't working and then pat it in so i ended up having to spray it on the lace and i went a little bit too heavy on one side but i'm going to fix it up once it dries down i'm going to add a little bit of a lighter powder so it can blend in better to my skin realized that I wanted some swoops on the side to kind of cover up that closure piece. So I'm just going to take a little bit of hair and then I'm going to cut it down short and then curl it with my flat iron and then swoop it over using the olive oil mousse. fluff it up a little bit more towards the top. And I also felt like I needed just a little bit more powder in the front to blend in a bit better. And then I noticed some pieces I still needed to chop off. But for the most part, I am done with this wig. It was super easy. It didn't take me long to install. I mean, the four by four closure, it's looking real good. It does come with a pre-pluck hairline. I did go in and pluck it a bit more. And then also I did lightly bleach the knots in the front area, but the powder worked really well in the parting space because the knots were small. But I feel like it looks good, but you guys make sure you stay tuned after this. You can hear my final thoughts when it comes to this unit. This four by four closure is absolutely beautiful. I love the waterway texture. Look how full it is. Now, when I added my products to it, I was like, okay, is it gonna get full again? But once it dried down and I fluffed it up, it was good to go. And I did have to go in with some of my Sleek and Shine Serum because the more you fluff it up, the more frizzy it's going to get. I did not notice a lot of flyaways with the hair, no shorter hairs um, going on at the top. A little frizziness like on the side. I also did have to cut off some long pieces right here and i do see a few of them i probably need to go in and trim down a little bit more but it frames my face really well i love the length of this this is a great length for every day and especially for the summertime also really nice i do feel like it's more fuller up front especially towards the bottom because when i turn around not as full at the bottom part i wish it was just like a little bit more fuller as far as shedding and tangling goes i did receive just a little bit of shedding not a lot and then tangles i do expect some snags with this unit especially in the nape area and then towards the bottom where the curls are now the fit on this unit was fine i did go in however and use my olive oil fix it hole spray just at the very front part of the lace i was really light-handed with it because i didn't feel like i needed a lot this is a transparent hd lace as it started to dry down, I was like, okay, it's still a little bit too light. So what I did was go in and add a little bit of my tint spray to the front area. I put a little bit too much on this side. So just to fix that up, I went in with a lighter powder and that definitely helped to blend it all in. I also put some powder into the parting space area. Even though this is only a four by four closure, I feel like the parting space on this looks really nice and open. Um, and also the front of the hairline is looking good. We're looking for a short, wavy, affordable unit that's not going to require too much fuss, but still give you like a frontal look. You might wanna check this out, but let me know what you guys think about this. If you are interested, I am gonna make sure to leave all the links down below in the description area. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.